When I first got my hands on the RTX 5080, I was beyond excited. It was supposed to be the ultimate upgrade for my gaming rig, promising lighting, fast performance, and, uh, and cutting edge features like the LSS4. But within days, the things started to go south. I began experiencing random black screens crashes uh, during gameplay. Uh, at first, I thought it was just a flux, but it keep uh, happening, especially when I switched between uh, resolutions or used multiple monitors. After some digging, I realized I was not alone. Turns out, the latest NVIDIA's drivers update uh, 572.16 was causing instability for RTX 5080 and 5090 users. Rolling back to an older driver helped a bit, but the problem was not fully resolved. Then came the horror stories of GPUs getting bricked. I heard that from friends and uh, online forums about users whose RTX 5080 suddenly stopped working altogether. The GPU would uh, vanish from uh, the system, leaving them uh, with a dead card. I felt of relief and dread. A uh, relief that my own card was still alive, but dread that it could uh, happen to me at any moment. Nvidia acknowledged this issue, but hasn't provided a clear fix yet. Some users had to rain their cards only to face delays and stock shortage. To make matters worse, there's an issue of melting power connectors. I saw someone's 16-pin power connector literally melting during normal use. It was like something out of a sci-fi movie. While it's unclear if this is a widespread problem or an isolated incident, it's enough to make anyone uh, paranoid about their PSU setup. I've been double-checking my cables and connectors ever since. The PCIe 5.0 compatibility issues added another layer of frustration. My motherboard keeps switching the GPU to PCIe 4.0 mode. After some trial and error, I found the disabling PCIe 5.0 in the BIOS helped stabilize the system, finally. But it was a temporary workaround and it feels like we are all just patching up a broken product. When I compare the RTX 5080's problems to those of the RTX 4080, it's like day and night. The RTX 4080 had its own set of issues when it launched, like high power consumption, uh, 320 watts, and limited availability, but nothing quite like the chaos surrounding the RTX 5080. The RTX 4080's main complaints were about its price and the fact that it didn't offer a huge leap in performance over the RTX 3090 Ti. It also struggled with 8K gaming and had some compatibility issues with older games, but it didn't come with the risk of breaking your GPU or melting your power connectors. The RTX 5080, on the other hand, feels like a step backward in terms of uh, uh, reliability despite its uh, impressive performance gains. In hindsight, I almost miss the RTX 4080's simpler problems, at least with the RTX 4080, you knew what you were getting. A powerful GPU that was uh, overpriced and uh, relatively stable. The RTX 5080 is uh, undeniable, especially with the LSS4 and the Reflex 2 promising massive performance boosts, but the constant crashes, driver issues, and hardware concerns have left a bitter test. I'm holding out a uh, hope that Nvidia will release a proper fix soon. Until then, I'm stuck in a cycle of excitement and frustration, waiting for the day when the GPU will finally live up to its promise. Whom of you are facing the same problems as I am? Uh, and if you find any solutions, please uh, let me know in the comments. And also, please uh, do like and subscribe to our channel. Take care of yourself and uh, of your card as well. Bye-bye. Uh,